Hello my royal friends and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, hello my name is Grace. I invite you to subscribe and join me on this journey. I have much to share with you, things that make me happy and I hope that what I share with you also puts a little smile on your face. Well being that it is a week of January 29th, the amazing Walt Disney released the beautiful Sleeping Beauty back on January 29th 1959. So happy anniversary to this beautiful movie and to Princess Aurora. Well, I have a couple of beautiful collectibles, uh, keepsakes or Funko Pops, shall we call them, that I've had for a little while. My husband surprised me with them. I fell in love with them. It's Princess Aurora and she's got a beautiful face and she's just a gorgeous, gorgeous pop. But not only do I have one pop, I have two, a special chase edition. So I hope that you stay tuned to the very end and let's celebrate this beautiful movie together and let's see what we have to show you today. So let's begin. My royal friends, before I take her out of the box, as usual, I like to show her in the box first. I appreciate her with all the nice packaging. And as I mentioned, this is nothing, uh, it's not a new Funko Pop, but for me it is. Uh, I've only had it for a little while. These are the other princesses that came along with this series at the time. So it had uh, Merida, which I think I have Merida, and it comes with uh, Jasmine and Mulan. Yeah. So they're adorable. And I'm just going to show you the top of the box. And let's open this adorable pop. And here she is, out of the box. Isn't she adorable? Beautiful. She's super cute. Would you like to say hello, Mr. Cameraman? Hello. <laughs> she is beautiful. The only thing I think that is missing for this adorable pop is a little pretty smile. She yeah. doesn't have a little mouth. But she's got rosy cheeks. She's adorable. So let's start from the top. She's got a beautiful little tiara. And look at her golden blonde hair. Uh, this pop weighs it's got a i don't know maybe a couple i would say close to two pounds and i think it's all in hair weight <laughs> uh, tease me <laughs> so this uh, her hair is so adorable she's got a little bit of a of a of a swag going to her left and a little bit of bangs on the right a little bit of a of a of a swag going on on the right hand side too and all the ends have some beautiful curl to it just so pretty a nice really nice golden hair and i love the nice um the sculpting of it how it just goes on to the side and got the little curls it's so pretty really well sculpted and the paint job looks pretty good too and let's turn her around again and as i mentioned she's got the rosy cheeks and she's got one her right hand is holding her dress up looking very uh princessy and look at me in my beautiful dress it's really pretty all the nice sculpting to this dress the flow of the dress is really pretty um she doesn't have any feet but i really like that in a way because she can hold herself up and she will not topple over <laughs> yeah that's the best thing you the ones that have the legs i mean it looks good with the legs but it just they don't hold up yeah, they it's easy to very, stand, very and some of the stands, the pegs are just not, I don't find them very sturdy. Now, there is an underlaying of the dress that you see in white. So as, um, you know, as beautiful gowns, you can tell, you can imagine how they flowed, and you would see that the, the underlaying underneath, it would just give that extra puff and volume to the dress. It's so pretty. So that's my first piece, and isn't she beautiful? Now, wait for part two, because I have a chase version of this doll. So stay tuned, my real friends. My royal friends, this is Aurora, same number uh, that's on the box, number 325, and this is the Chase version, and this is beautiful. Why? Because for all of us who have seen the movie, we know that the fairies, how they respectfully were disputing, make it blue, make it pink, the dress that is, a ballroom dress, well, this one is in blue, so we have a pink one and a blue one, and this is the Chase version of this Funko Pop. And I'm not sure if you get a, a good shot there because it is in a pop protector. I haven't taken it out of the pop protector, so I'm not sure if it's much glare. Gonna quickly... Fresh and pretty good. Yeah, that's good. And so I'm going to open this up and I'll be right back. And here is Aurora out of the box. She is also beautiful. And as I'm showing this beautiful little pop, did you know that the voice, the gorgeous voice of Sleeping Beauty, her name is Mary Costa? She is 91 years old. I just wanted to share that information. The voice of Sleeping Beauty from the 1959 animated Sleeping Beauty movie is 91 years old. God bless. Nice. She's got a beautiful opera voice. 
gorgeous. And again, my royal friends, you can see the hair is just beautifully sculpted, uh, pretty identical to the other one in pink. And I just really love like just the flowing of it and the and the, the curls at the ends. I find that very pretty, and I really love this because it's so substantial. It really, really is pretty. And here's a tiara. Now the only difference, other than it being blue, you see her little cheeks. It's it's more of a lighter pink. I'm gonna set her here. So it's more of a dust, a, like a, a light powdery pink. Um, where the one with the pink dress, she has more of a blush pink or more of a rosy cheek. So just to enhance, um, to go with a blue dress, very pretty. And again, you can see the beautiful the uh, the collar there and her hand holding that dress up so elegantly. And the flow of the dress is really nicely done. And what do you think of the paint job, Mr. Cameraman? It looks good. I mean, these pops, they're, they're beautiful job. Beautiful I'll job. Show you the bottom. Just so beautiful. She's just such a beautiful piece. And as I mentioned in one of my videos that I, I showed a Sleeping Beauty um, collectible of mine in the past, it took me a long time to see this movie. I'm not sure why. But I really, really enjoyed this movie. It was beautiful. And I actually, my husband and myself both enjoyed the live action version of Maleficent. Really good. Uh, Angelina Jolie did a fantastic job as Maleficent. Loved the movie. Very well done. Both, both part one and part two were great. And so I hope that you enjoyed this review. And again, a very happy anniversary to Walt Disney's Sleeping Beauty. And I uh, just... Honestly, uh, a standing ovation for uh, this movie and these pops are such a beautiful tribute and I hope that you enjoyed this video. For, for those of you who are new to my channel, thank you for keeping us company and we invite you to subscribe and don't forget to hit the like, share, notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And for all of you, all of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you everyone for keeping us company and for subscribing to our channel. You truly are our royal friends. Stay tuned for our next video and we wish you all the happiness. Bye for now. Take care.